All right, a really odd one for you this evening. And today, Lid Motor uploaded a version of the two-pin crystal tester circuit by KF5 OBS. And what he did was, instead of having the 1K resistor, he put a 1000 UH inductor in and enabled his circuit to run really, really well at about the 13.5, 13.6 MHz range that Dr. Stiffley uses. I thought to myself, well, I'll try that out. I'll try and replace the 1K. So I did do, and um, I had a bit of trouble. I had a 13.492 MHz in here, and as you can see, it's, it's running at 5 volts USB. Uh, no output at all. I thought, oh well, I'll, I'll change over to the 13.5 MHz crystal. As I did so, I had hold of the other side there, where this green wire is now, and that is the, well, in fact, if you look at the circuit, it is actually the, uh, the base connection to the transistor. So I pulled out the crystal, do, 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 do. and that's what happened. That LED came on, and I thought, and I was holding this at the same time, and I thought, that's ridiculous, what's happening? There's, there's no way that this has got, I mean, there's no, no crystal inside. Uh, so how's it got wireless output <laughs> all the way around? What indeed is going on with this circuit? And the very fact that this over here with the ferrite through it is a fair distance away from the L3 coil and yet there we are the lights on so then I thought to myself well okay I've got to replace the hand so what I did was I got a large heat sink that one and I tried doing that whole way of doing things and that seemed to work okay but I wanted to get my hand out of the way so I started experimenting with what else I could put to it instead um, of the heat sink and ended up with a, an LED the LED works fine, the positive of it is coming from, well, the L3 coil and the negative of it goes back around and into, well, what should be the connection to the crystal, but in fact goes to the base. So I've decided we'll have to uh, consider this the WTF exciter and this is the circuit now for it. Now we've got the 1000 UH there, which used to be a 1K. We've got no crystal at the sides here. We've got the L3 connected to the output and then the LED, it comes back around to the base. So, as I say, I think that's what it'll have to be called, the WTF Exciter. Incredibly simple thing. I suppose it's got an L1 and an L2. But, um, there we are. That's what happened when I took out the crystal. Okay, thanks for watching.